Hi everyone, welcome back to Arpita Sharma classes. We are going to decode the Hindu newspaper for 22nd August 2022 today. I welcome you all to this analysis lecture wherein we are going to analyze the most important articles from the Hindu newspaper from the perspective of your UPSC CSC examination. Now before we start this lecture, here is a small announcement about the batch 1 of SA Bana Easy course that we are launching on 26th of August 2022. This batch is only for rupees 200. It will be a 10 day training program for uh, the essay writing skills. We know that you all have your own opinions, viewpoints on topics or you can you know start a discussion on any topic from the current affair. But when it comes to writing it within 1000 to 1200 words, that becomes quite a challenge. And this batch is going to train you in expressing your emotions, your uh, viewpoints, your thoughts, your thinking, your opinion on paper. Because you know sometimes for students, Talking is tough, right? But some for some students, writing is also equally tough. So here, if you think that you cannot express your views, opinions, thoughts in a proper structured formal manner on piece of paper, then this is the correct batch for all of you. If you are an English medium student, you can join this batch. It is going to be a training batch, a training 10 day program wherein I will be training you in essay writing. Essay writing means a very important part of your UPSC CSE examination. Essay writing basically expresses who you are as a person on a piece of paper. Yes, I know a piece of paper cannot determine who you are, but it can reflect your opinions as an IAS officer, as an IPS or IRS officer in front of the examiner. So essay paper here you can if you are a beginner you can join this batch if you have been if you have been preparing for uh, UPSC since the last few years then also you can join this batch if you think that you need to sharpen your writing skills you can surely join this batch herein we will provide you recorded videos assignments we will be checking your assignments feedbacks will be provided this 10 day program is going to open up your writing skills wonderfully so do join this batch if you really want to join this batch then you can leave a mail on this email id upsc with ease at the rate gmail.com this is the email id of our team wherein you can drop a mail if you are interested in this batch and please in get yourself enrolled before 26th August if you are really interested in this batch. If you are this course, then you will open the enrollment from 26 August. The enrollment will be finished from and the batch will start. Hojaega. So do mail us at UPSC with ease at the rate gmail.com if you are really interested. Only few days are left. Let's start with the very important article which is also very prominent and very significant for your essay writing paper. Freebies come at a price, says economist. So this article basically is on freebies that if the political parties are spending huge amount of money of the state exchequer on giving freebies, on providing freebies to the public before the elections, that it has an economical after effect as well. Plus that results in the populist competitive populism or populist movements which are basically it creates a negative dent in the polity of a country or a nation. So what is populism here? So here in who ne baat ki hai basically RBI ke hi part hai ye member in hoon ne baat ki hai yaha par competitive populism ki. What exactly is populism? This can be asked not just in S paper but also in paper 2 and your interview. Aap se interview ke dauraan bhi poochha ja sakta hai because when you will become an IAS officer, you will be a part of permanent executive, right? And we know that the union government is also a part of permanent executive. You will be not just serving the citizens, but you will be also linked with the administration, with the government. So that is why it's important for you to understand and know the meaning of populism. Basically, populism is a kind of political movement which promotes a single idea that the leaders only are the representatives of the people. The leaders, the you know very famous leaders or very dominating charismatic figures, they try to make the citizens of India or any nation convince, they make they try to convince the people of the nation that we only we are your voice. Only we can express your true intentions, your wills, your desires, your needs. 
and you need to ignore all the other parties political parties or the uh, representatives or the civil servants only we are your voice so that kind of movement is called populism usko hum populism bolte hain competitive populism means when all the political parties by giving by providing freebies to the people before election they are trying to convince the people that only we are your voice they are you know having competition amongst themselves who will win this race of becoming the voice of the people by providing freebies so that is competitive populism hota kya hai jab aap citizens ko election se pehle hi convince karne ki koshish kar rahe ho ek se zyada political parties hain aur unke leaders ye convince karne ki koshish kar rahe hain ki hum aapki awaaz hain hum aapko television denge aapko free books denge right aapko laptops denge aapko free electricity denge aapka loan maaf kar denge is tarike se aapas mein competition karke political parties citizens ko apni taraf khinchne ki jab koshish karti hain votes ko apni taraf khinchne ki koshish karti hain use hum competitive populism bolte hain that is not very healthy okay when it comes to the running of the country jab nation ki baat aati hai polity ki baat aati hai to ye ek healthy idea nahi hai competitive populism and the, here the article is saying that uh, basically freebie culture or ravedi culture which our prime minister narendra modi ji also termed it this culture is increasing the competitive populism which is a big blot on the democracy it is widely perceived by political parties that providing individual benefit is the surest way to win over votes earlier they used to provide cash money and liquor to win the votes पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज को ऐसा लगता है कि भाई हमारा वोटर्स को अगर हम चीजें देते हैं चाहे हम दारू दें या यू नो पैसा दें तो उससे हम उनका वोट जीत ही लेंगे स्पेशली द पुअर पीपल दे टारगेट द पुअर यू नो पीपल एंड राइट नाउ दे आर आल्सो गिविंग प्रोमिस लाइक लोन वेवर्स हाउसिंग रुपीज टू रुपीज का राइस हम आपको दे रहे हैं किलो भर का दो रुपए में फ्री पावर एक्सेट्रा बट what basically they for what they forget what these political leaders forget is that all of this comes at a huge price economic price aap agar free mein yahan par announce kar dete ho ki bhai hum aapko loan sara aapka maaf kar denge free electricity generate karke denge isse kya hota hai jo basically hamara economy ki working hai economy ki smooth running hai wo usme hindrance aa jata hai right such individual centric promises are a natural progression from well documented practice of purchasing voters by alluring nets like alcohol and cash usi ka usi ko aap naturally uska form change kar rahe ho alcohol aur cash ki jagah aap loan waivers de rahe ho theek hai har cheez ka price bilkul na ke barabar rakh rahe ho free electricity provide kar rahe ho so basically this you know uh, a situation is very serious we need to take this freebie culture very seriously right so this was the highlight of the article next important article lumpy skin disease toll rises to 7300 this is really important for prelims because in gujarat you you must be seeing that the cases have risen in punjab you know basically 3359 animals have died because of this disease so it's really important to study about it so lumpy skin disease is also known as lsd lsd drug ki baat nahi ho rahi yahan par disease ki baat ho rahi hai the symptoms which can be seen in the cattle are fever a fluid comes out from their eyes and nose the milk production of the cattle comes down the appetite also comes down there are blisters on the body or the skin of the cattle the saliva you know dribbles from the mouth of the cattle that is the symptom of lumpy skin disease it's a cattle centric disease okay now basically the treatment basically there is no specific treatment of the lumpy skin disease yes kuch aise you know anti inflammatory pain killers hain jo diye jate hain jisse cattle ki bhook kam na ho but abhi tak koi specific antiviral drug nahi bana hai is disease ke liye researchers are still studying this particular disease and it was first seen as an epidemic in zambia in 1929 and animals they get infected by blood feeding anthropod vectors like biting flies mosquitoes ticks in se you know disease ye and cattle mein aata hai and it heavily impacts the animal health even it results in economic losses to the cattle industry it's a viral disease of domestic cattle water buffaloes and it's find in certain wild ruminants also rats wagera mein bhi ye dekhne ko mila hai iska incubation period hai jab symptoms occur karte hain wo 28 days ka hota hai but jin cattle pe experimentally ye check test kiya gaya tha is disease ko to unka incubation period ya clinical signs the wo 6 se 9 din mein hi dikhne lage the so this is about the lumpy skin disease the next important article the controversy around nepal's new citizenship law very important kafi important hai ye gs paper 2 ke liye even for prelims and if you are preparing for interview uske liye bhi important hai 
so let us understand the gist of this article basically the on august 16 yani ki 16 august ko on august 16 nepal president had sent back the citizenship amendment act of 2006 to the lower house of nepal parliament and the president of nepal asked the parliament to reconsider the act okay this was the issue now what is the criticism against the act the criticism is that this act goes against the gender justice theek hai to basically iske andar na gender injustice ho raha hai is act mein ye criticism hai it says that a person who is born to a nepalese mother and an unidentified father can be granted citizenship by descent but if the father is a foreigner the citizenship by descent would be converted to naturalized citizenship तो ये बेसिकली एक्ट है इसके अंदर जेंडर जस्टिस का इशू यहां उठाया गया है कि अगर कोई बच्चा पैदा हुआ है जिसकी मम्मी तो नेपलीज थी बट फादर के नहीं फादर का जो आइडेंटिटी आइडेंटिटी है ना वो पता नहीं है तो उसमें बाय डिसेंट सिटीजनशिप ग्रांट कर दी जाएगी उस बच्चे को बट अगर फादर फॉरनर है तो उस केस में नेचुरलाइज सिटीजनशिप हो जाएगी बच्चे की तो अगर मदर नेपलीज है उस केस में नेचुरलाइज क्यों नहीं देखी जा रही व्हाई ओनली फादर्स जेंडर इज बीइंग डिटरमाइंड टू गिव नेचुरलाइज सिटीजनशिप टू द नेपल नेपलीज चाइल्ड दैट इज द इशू दैट इज द इशू ऑफ जेंडर जस्टिस व्हिच हैज बीन क्रिटिसाइज्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्ट सो हियर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द इशू ऑफ सिटीजनशिप इन नेपाल सिंस द हिस्ट्री सो बेसिकली नेपाल ट्रांजिशन इनटू डेमोक्रेसी इट कन्वर्टेड इनटू डेमोक्रेसी पहले तो मोनार्कियल रूल था अर्लियर इट वाज मोनार्कियल रूल देन इट कन्वर्टेड इनटू डेमोक्रेसी इन 2006 देन द देयर वाज द इमर्जेंस ऑफ मल्टी पार्टी सिस्टम देन अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वाज अडॉप्टेड इन नेपाल इन 2015 सो वेरी रीसेंट डेमोक्रेटिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज कम अप इन नेपाल and all the nepali citizens born before this date before september 20 2015 they got naturalized citizenship but their children remained without citizenship as that was to be guided by a federal law jo ki abhi decide nahi kiya gaya hai and the federal law which has been decided is being criticized on gender justice that is the issue which is going on yahi issue chal raha hai the citizenship se related so this was all for today i hope you enjoyed this lecture within 12 to 15 minutes we have covered the most important articles jo padhne layak articles hain jinko padhna hai aapko from the newspaper i hope you enjoyed this lecture do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts